Hey, Leo Drager here. In this video, I want to talk about um, hashing files or basically a hashing calculator. Um, this is a great tool to use to understand the principles of integrity because it basically takes a file, analyzes it, and gives you an output. And it shows you the message digest and just about all of the possible integrity algorithms that exist. Now, when people are new to the subject of integrity, they basically have to learn things like MD5 and SHA. But there are many hashing programs that are beyond popular, like Ripe, uh, Tiger, Whirlpool, which actually this tool doesn't do, Adler, Cyclic Redundancy Check, uh, all the variants of SHA. So basically, we're going to take a file, a text or a string. Uh, in this case, we're going to take a file. And you can take any file which you want. So I'm just going to pick any file on the system just to show you that it works. Select a bunch of these if you want the appropriate message digest for it. And then calculate. And there, therefore, you've got all of the message digests. Now, that was relatively easy to use if I do say so myself. Um, and keep in mind that if you have a, a file and you hash it and then later on you hash it and the message digest calculates the same then the file has not been changed modified altered uh, nothing has been added subtracted or removed from that file um, it also does not look at things like timestamps and attributes and things like that it's purely the contents or the, the the core data of the file that gets checked so that's it. Hash my uh, calculator, easy program to use in the subject of cryptography. And you should definitely use this to get a better understanding of the principles that are in play. For example, confidentiality versus integrity. In my experience, most people goof up the principles of confidentiality and integrity, especially when preparing for any sort of testing exam. So use these tools and understand how they work. All these tools do is take some data, for example, a file, a text string or an hex string and then analyze it to make sure that nothing is changed, modified or altered and you can prove that if the message digest computed is exactly the same. So thank you for watching. My name's Leo Drager and I'll catch you in the next video.